a revised take on the supermoney sized sort of SUV, one that Mazda hopes will put some distance between the CX-3 and a constantly expanding field of competitors. When it arrived in 2015, this competent crossover was something of a jack-of-all-trades. It looked the part, drove well and was fairly economical, but didn't really excel in any one area at a time when various rivals were championing practicality, value, and sheer niche appeal. That's set to change with this facelifted version, which has received a slew of mechanical upgrades in addition to visual tweaks and interior additions. New coil springs and dampers have been fitted to the McPherson strut front and torsion beam rear suspension to sharpen the handling, the electric power steering has been retuned to be more responsive and the size of the front stabilizer has been reduced to improve roll response. So more than just a prettier face, then. It's also the first model to get Mazda's new 1.8-litre Skyactiv D diesel engine, which replaces the 1.5-litre unit found in the outgoing model. Efficiency boosts come courtesy of revised multi-stage injectors and egg-shaped pistons, which make for better combustion. However, with 85% of UK customers opting for the petrol derivative, we've concentrated on that instead. The 2.0-litre, four-cylinder unit is available in either 119 bhp or 148 bhp outputs, and can be mated to a six-speed manual or an automatic gearbox. It's tested here in its entry-level potency, combined with the automatic box. In the UK, the petrol CX-3 can also be equipped with four-wheel drive but front-drive models like our test subject will almost certainly be the bigger sellers. Putting a greater focus on driver engagement creates a lofty goal, especially for a car category not renowned for its dynamism, but the CX-3 manages to impress on the road. The steering may not be as sharp as Mazda's sportier offerings, and lacks any real road feel, but it is nevertheless pleasingly weighty. It handles weight transfer without any dramatic pitching, and cornering is largely confident. Body roll isn't as noticeable as some rivals, but is still there should you go searching for it. The suspension tweaks have delivered a ride that's still firm, but one that's able to absorb shocks and imperfections without seriously unsettling the car. The rev happy petrol engine makes you feel like you're making swift progress, but the encouraging sound can be deceiving. Peak torque has long gone by the time you reach the high end of the rev range. Engaging sport mode sharpens up the throttle response, but makes the automatic transmission even keener to hold on to gears for as long as possible before shifting up. Manual shifts feel sluggish, but in a category dominated by downsized turbo motors, the CX-3's naturally aspirated engine still has plenty of charm. The diesel version delivers reasonable pace with the small turbo working hard to maintain power. It's refined at a cruise, but a little strained once you ignore the upshift indicator. The six-speed manual box delivers clean changes with minimal force. Inside the cabin, the CX-3 retains a premium, but not quite luxury vibe, with plenty of soft-touch plastics. The 7-in infotainment screen hasn't quite kept up with slick arrivals, and while Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are welcome additions, they are available as an option rather than standard fit. Swapping the handbrake for an electric parking brake has saved space in the center console, making room for a padded armrest. Rear passengers get an armrest of their own, complete with cup holders, but legroom is still less than rival crossovers. Exterior changes for 2018 are minor meaning the CX-3 is best described as handsome, yet restrained. The slightly more prominent front grille and black trim around the pillars and fog lamps keep things fresh, though Mazda's Kodo design language is far more subtle than rival crossovers. As far as compact crossovers go, the CX-3 was already one of the more engaging ones, and the latest raft of updates have helped Mazda to pull even further ahead of the pack. It can be rewarding, yes, but is still constrained by the mechanical restrictions of its body style. As such, 
Auto car readers expecting true engagement may find it lacking. The eye-catching Citroen C3 Aircross and Toyota CHR continue to make more of an initial impression, and the Citroen is still the better all-rounder, but the CX-3 is now confidently the better drive, if only in the context of its class. Test location Andalusia, Spain price £22,695 on sale October engine 1,998 cc, 4 sills, petrol power 119 bhp at 6,000 revolutions per minute torque 152 pounds foot at 2,800 revolutions per minute gearbox 6 SPD automatic curb weight 1,213 kilograms top speed 116 miles per hour 0 to 62 miles per hour 9.9 .9 seconds fuel economy 46.3 miles per gallon CO2 tax band 140 grams slash km 29% rival seat Arona, Nissan Juke, Kia Stonic